have gone ahead and uh, got this vessel. We have got help from all the quarters and uh, both the ports, Mumbai, Goa, Naimagoa, as well as uh, DG Shipping, IRS and all quarters where uh, we have been finally been coming to, uh, for the first voyage to Goa. The difference is the experience. Uh, India didn't have a cruise liner which could be you know, for, for, between Goa and Mumbai, where people at least for one day get an experience of sea. So we have themed this ship after the west coast. Uh, we have uh, named this ship after Kanoji Angre, who was a Sarkhel, that is the first admiral of Maratha Navy. And it is depicting the history of the west coast, natural history of the west coast and the ecology. So this ship will sh showcase all this, at the same time give them the top of the line experience of a cruise. We have an infinity pool, we have uh, uh, restaurants, different restaurants, we have different locations from where people can actually view sea, spa and other amenities they can enjoy on the way. It will be about average of about 7,000 rupees per person. India is supporting uh, cruise tourism. This is a dream of our minister also to start Mumbai Goa. So Mumbai put has taken initiatives, so we are supporting that. We provide all sort of facilities. We are starting a new ferry service from uh, Mumbai to Goa. So this vessel, uh, Angria, capacity is 350 guests. And uh, today it has come on a trial run. After the monsoon, it will full flesh. This service will start. Uh, this service will be alternate day. It will be starting from Mumbai, uh, 5 o'clock in the evening. And it takes around 14 hours to reach here uh, with a cruising speed, maximum up to 18 knots. So, uh, alternate day it will be leaving from this place also. So, one day for coming, another day for going. So, it is like that.